Welcome in Freemannachten! Today we're going to be doing a Christmas tree card. So in your packages you have some cardstock. I want you to find the white cardstock. And the first thing we're going to do is fold it in half like a card. Like a card. Like a hamburger. <laughs> like a hamburger. Not the hot dog. And then you can just set that off to the side for now. Then you're going to grab your green piece of paper. And you're going to want to fold it into a triangle, like this. And make sure it's nice and even before you crease it. Then take your scissors and cut off that extra rectangle piece. Right down here. Did you know that in Germany, they started the tradition of Christmas trees? I didn't know that. Yeah. So if you have a Christmas tree in your house, you can thank Germany. Thank you, Germany. Alright, now you should have a square. Go ahead and refold it again. And now you're gonna want to make sure you have the open piece towards whatever hand you cut with. So I cut with my right hand. And then I'm going to make cuts that go down this side only. So I'm going to start with a small cut that just goes straight, like that. And you don't want to cut it off. You just want to go almost to the edge, almost to the fold. So go ahead and keep doing that all the way down your paper. About an inch apart? Yeah. You can do it however big or however small you'd like to. I would recommend keeping it the same size, but if you want to do it a little crazy, you can if you like. Just make sure you don't cut the fold. So then you should have a bunch of folds like that, a bunch of cuts. You're going to go ahead and open your Christmas tree so that the smallest cut is at the top. Now what you're going to do is you need a glue stick. Then you're going to take each piece starting at the bottom and you're going to curl it over so it bends into the other side. So I'm going to zoom this in a little bit for you. Like that. And then you just glue underneath. Yep. Is your Christmas tree up yet, Mrs. Schwinn? My Christmas tree is not up yet. I know. <laughs> I bet your Christmas tree is though. Christmas tree is up. Although we usually wait much longer before we put our Christmas tree up. Last year we waited until Christmas Eve. Oh wow. And then we went and got our tree. That was probably fun though. It was fun. Did you go when it was like nighttime? Um, no. Because we went to church at the nighttime service. Huh. So you got to go during the day, yep. and then got to come home to one. Uh huh. And by the time Christmas Eve rolls around, all of the leftover Christmas trees are free. <laughs> That's nice. That's Added definitely bonus. an incentive to uh, do it a little bit later. So as you're gluing your tree down, you'll notice that I'm overlapping. I'm going one side and then the other and then back to the same side, and then the other, back to the same side. And you're going to continue until you get all the way to the top. How cute is that? So if you didn't already, you're going to leave that top triangle open. Like that? <laughs> and then go ahead and grab okay. your card. Oh, yes. And it's going to be a little bit bigger if you used a bigger paper, but that's okay because then it kind of pops off the card. It's a 3D card. So just flip it over and go ahead and glue it to the beginning or the front of your card. So then once you have it on the front of your card, you're going to want to add your star and your trunk. For the trunk, we're just going to cut out a brown rectangle, however big or small you want to, and just glue it onto the bottom. And then for your star, there is a wooden star that you can use, or you can cut one out of paper if you don't want to use that one. Make sure you put lots 
the glue on there. You might want to use liquid glue or hot glue to make sure your parents help you with the hot glue. card and you can use other stuff to put ornaments on there you can color it if you want to and then on the inside you can do a Christmas message and then send it off to someone you love